2024 Moto Guzzi Stelvio First Ride Review Entering its second century, Moto Guzzi is evolving while maintaining its commitment to the iconic longitudinal V-twin and shaft drive that defines Mandelo Delario. The renowned small block mill, a resilient fixture amidst changing trends, has now given way to a more compact and contemporary engine, the compact block, marking a significant shift for the next century. The V100 Mandelo, unveiled in 2021, embraced this innovation, drawing acclaim even from those outside the Gazisti circle. Now, a second pivotal machine is resurrecting the spirit of adventure with a familiar name, the Stelvio. Although Moto Guzzi already boasts the V85 TTADV model, driven by the trusty 853 cubic centimeters small block, the 2024 Stelvio introduces the robust 1042 cubic centimeters compact block engine into one of the most popular segments in motorcycling. Built on the same engine as a stress member foundation as the V100 Mandelo, the Stelvio undergoes modifications tailored for adventure motorcycle touring across gravel and light trails positioned to compete in the 900 to 1100 cubic centimeters adventure segment, the Stelvio. Conceived concurrently with the V100, holds potential as a linchpin for Moto Guzzi's future success. Cycle World had the privilege of riding a pre-production version of the Stelvio before its public release. Prior to the ride, discussions with Piero Sawadi, head of Moto Guzzi Engineering, and the team responsible for bringing the Stelvio to market shed light on the model's development. 2024 Moto Guzzi Stelvio Technical Details the Stelvio inherits the familiar 90-degree longitudinal V-twin from the V100 Mandelo. Its DOHC four-valve heads, positioned at a 90-degree angle to the traditional air oil cooled small block, ensure tighter packaging atop 521 cubic centimeters cylinders with a bore and stroke of 96.0 by 72.0 millimeters. The introduction of liquid cooling and closed-loop EFI ensures Euro 5 compliance, generating a claimed 115 horsepower at 8,700 RPM and 77.4 pound FT of torque at 6,750 RPM, ideal for an all-encompassing ADV challenging the likes of Suzuki's V-Strom 1050, Honda's Africa Twin, and Ducati's Multistrada V2. While there are adjustments to the engine for the Stelvio, they are surprisingly minimal. The EFI system incorporates a downstream O2 sensor for a 5 euro plus rating, a modification soon to be adopted by the V100. Strengthening the rear of the engine cases to handle additional stresses from the Stelvio's ADV mission is the only other modification, showcasing the versatility of Moto Guzzi's new engine. Anticipate more models featuring the compact block beyond the V100 Mandelo and Stelvio. Equipped with five ride modes, Sport, Strata, Turismo, Piaggia, and Off-Road, the Stelvio tailors throttle response, traction control, engine braking, and ABS settings for each mode. Riders can further customize these parameters, except for engine braking, through the Stelvio's 5-inch TFT dash, also found on the V100 Mandelo. The optional Piaggio Group's MIA smartphone connectivity allows control over music, phone calls, and navigation. Standard features include cruise control, while an S model, with forward and rear-facing radar for adaptive cruise and other safety measures, will be available. Full details on this system will be revealed in November at ECMA. Gearbox refinements include improvements to every gear for smoother shifting, and a new self-assist anti-hopping slipper, clutch enhances shift actuation and feel. While a quick shifter is optional, it was not installed for this test. The compact block engine is affixed to a trellis frame akin to the Mandelo but with altered geometry, increased length, and additional engine mounting points specific to the Stelvio. The head tube area, stretched with more rake, accommodates the 19-inch front wheel. Precise chassis measurements are yet to be disclosed, but attachment points to the engine have increased from 4 on the Mandelo to 6 on the Stelvio for added rigidity. Rider foot pegs are repositioned but remain directly mounted to the engine with rubber damped mounts. The Stelvio opts for a traditional suspension system rather than a semi active one, a curious decision for an adventure bike primarily bound for the road. Its front end features a Saks 46mm inverted fork with 6.7 inches of travel, offering adjustable rebound damping and spring preload. 
Meanwhile, the rear is supported by a KYB shock with a 6.7-inch wheel travel, adjustable for rebound damping and equipped with an external spring preload adjustment knob. Moto Guzzi has reinforced the bearings and casting connecting it to the engine, maintaining the swing arm length from the Mandela. Rolling on tubeless cross spoke wheels, 19 by 3.0 inches front, 17 by 4.5 inches rear. Shot with Michelin Anarchy Adventure tires, the Stelvio relies on Brembo brakes identical to those on the Mandela. The front features four piston radial mount calipers gripping 320mm discs, while the rear utilizes a two piston caliper on a 298mm disc. The lean sensitive ABS system offers three modes on, off road, and off. In a brief riding impression of the 2024 Moto Guzzi Stelvio, the experience was limited to a quick afternoon ride post technical presentation. While a comprehensive test is pending upon the bike's arrival in the States, initial impressions suggest it's the best Moto Guzzi to roll off the production line. Though subject to potential changes, the pre production test units, at 95% finalization, seem ready to be unveiled. The ride commenced on the Autostrada before tackling mountain roads northeast of Nawali. The Stelvio's aerodynamics, meticulously crafted through 1,500 hours of CFD modeling and wind tunnel testing, received accolades as best in class. The adjustable screen showcased its prowess, providing a consistent, buffet-free airflow even at high speeds. Riding at 150 km per hour, 93.2 miles per hour, and beyond, the screen's 2.8-inch taller fully raised position created a serene bubble of air, shielding the rider from bothersome wind blasts. Accelerating to the theoretical 225 km per hour, the Stelvio demonstrated its strength despite its 115 horsepower and 77.4 pound FT. Throttle response in sport mode proved crisp yet not jerky, allowing for aggressive maneuvers without unsettling the bike. The traction control discreetly ensured forward momentum, even during spirited corner exits, maintaining stability without overt indications of intervention. Strata, your daily workhorse in and out of town, offers a milder throttle response, making it less aggressive. Turismo takes it a step softer, and Piaggia, designed for wet conditions, reduces power with frequent traction control intervention. Off-road mode brings back the snappy throttle response, minimizing traction control similar to sport mode. Regrettably, our truncated test lacked gravel or dirt, so the verdict on that aspect will have to wait until we can test a production unit on such terrain. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.